Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's video is a haul video. I will mention that one of the purchases I made like a month back, but I decided just to group all the purchases into one major haul video. It's not that major really, it's just a couple of things that I purchased because if you remember, I, men I mentioned towards the beginning of the year that I, I was on a spending freeze because I really want to use up my stash um, and, you know, try and make projects with what I already have here. And I, I am still committed to that. I made it to basically the halfway mark. So I made it to June. I did buy some stuff along the way, but not like I usually would. Now, the plan for the next six months, up until like December, is I still am going to use up my stash as much as I can. But I made smart purchases this time around so that I, I looked at my stash and saw what I had and I was like, I'm gonna purchase items that I can blend together with my stash to make new layouts. So, yeah, here are the most recent purchases. These items are from the Echo Park Warehouse Sale. I think that was like back in April, May or March or April, around there. And originally I was like, no, I'm not going to buy anything. But then I saw collection packs at $7, ephemera packs at $3, $4, $3 or $4, chipboard stickers the same way. I was like... I can't pass this up. So what I did is that, I remember, I just looked at what I had in my stash and purchased accordingly. So I purchased the Cartabella Our House Collection. I purchased the collection kit with the Frames and Tags Ephemera Pack, mainly because I know that, you know, after summer, fall comes, and I have some... I. I I didn't look at this as like our house theme. I just looked at it for the autumn colors or fall colors. So yeah, and I love the stickers. I know that it's gonna be very versatile for what I'm going to be making, hopefully going to be making towards the fall autumn months. Now next up, I did purchase two um, summer collections mainly because if you don't already know I live in Puerto Rico and it's summer year round I have pool pictures of my sons taken in December January so I can easily document lots of summer themed pictures even though they weren't taken during summer months so I really liked this Echo Park best summer ever collection this was like from last year and i just love that it's different it has like this purpley color it has coral pinks yellows greens so it's very very summer summery and it's not like typical summer collections have a lot of blue red yellow greens this has more of pastel colors involved and alongside I purchased the chipboard phrases and I also purchased the best summer ever ephemera packet so yeah that's one that's the other this is all from the Echo Park warehouse sale and then the other summer collection that I got was the good day sunshine this is from 2018 um, but I love it. I love it's big. It's not big. It's bold. It's um, it has lots of summer themed. I love the designs on the cutter part. I love the stickers that it has. You can see them a bit there. And I picked up also the ephemera pack to add to it. Now that's all from the Echo Park Warehouse sale. Then the other purchase I made was over at Paper Issues. And I got so excited opening up the envelope that I t 
tore the <laughs> the tissue paper swiftly open this bit I love that they always include like a very cute card thanking you for your purchase and here I bought some items from the Chamel Never Grow Up collection. So I got the ephemera packet, like that. And you can see that ephemera packet. Let me just show you everything I got from Never Grow Up. I also got the floral ephemera packet. And now that I look at it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and purchase another one because I love adding florals to my layouts. I got the six by eight paper pad. There you can glimpse some of the patterns. And is that, no. I also got the stickers, the sticker sheet, six by 12 sticker sheet. Now, this is one of those collections that I was like bummed out when I got on my spending freeze because I really wanted to get my hands on it but I was like really committed to not spending anything but I'm so glad that I was able to at least get the paper pad um, and most of the embellishments. I don't think that I'm going to be using this quite yet. I will be wait. Uh, maybe like after summer is done I will make some um, layouts with this. I'm going to set this aside over here. And I also got the Simple Stories Birthday Blast collection. I got mine in the theme, um, in the boy theme, because I have two boys. I also got the bits and pieces and the chipboard stickers. There you can get a glimpse of it. I love it. And I got the foam stickers as well, because I love these sort of ready-made titles. I just adding titles to my layouts is something that I really st struggle a lot because I'm like okay what am I like what am I gonna place as a title so these take a lot of the guesswork out of it and then finally I also got the simple stories foam summer farmhouse foam stickers and these are going to go into my homemade kit that I made for the layouts that I'm going to hopefully be making during the months of June and July. So I, all of this I got from Paper Issues. This was like my biggest um, purchase. And last but not least, this is my purchase from scrapbook.com. I do apologize for all the crinkling. Okay, so I got, since I was running no, low on my modeling paste, I purchased a small jar of modeling paste. Modeling paste is something that I love using, but lately I haven't been using it a lot. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to purchase a small one um, just to tide me over up until like December around there. I really needed these little blades um, for my um, paper trimmer because it was already like, um, you know when it's getting blunt that when you cut across patterned paper or cardstock you get little fuzzies out um, so yeah I really needed um, to replace my blades and then I got the puffy stickers from the from Chamel's Never Grow Up collection and her thickers as well and I love how these aren't aren't they aren't just titles they're also like puffy ephemera pieces and let me get all my things together for, for, from, I mean, from Never Grow Up, from the Never Grow Up collection. I am over the moon excited that I was able to get my hands on it because I love Chamel's collections. They are versatile 
in such a way that you can make girly layouts but also boyish layouts. You can make layouts that pertain to the kid at heart and just it's just I love them. I love them so much. I if you haven't no um if you ha don't know yet um Chamel isn't making any more brands with well any more collections with American crafts. So if you're interested in getting your hands on stuff for from Chamel, she has Glitter Girl, she has Little by Little, she has um, Never Grow Up, she has Box of Crayons, and Field Trip. Lots of whimsical, like, child, not childish in a bad way, childish in a good way, um, collections. She has a lot of, of um, process videos on YouTube, so you can, and she uses her collections as well. So yeah, if you're interested, be sure to grab those up. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this haul video from scrapbook.com, Paper Issues, and the Echo Park Warehouse, um, warehouse sale. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video where I show you my homemade kit it's it's a big one it definitely is anyways thank you so much for joining me please like subscribe to my channel write um write a comment down below and if anything guys you know the drill i'll see you back soon with another process video